Will Odumegbu Ojuko ever be forgiven? Same to Namdi Kano, the Biafran warlord. Nigerians react. Hmm. I greet everybody listening to this very broadcast. This is today's news. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to uh, to broadcast to you this very day. It's been wonderful. You see, um, this has always been what we as we have been talking about day after day. Keep asking and keep telling us that we really need to understand history and um and uh, get it um and get it right but uh, our federal government out of greed and self-centeredness they decided to you know stop the teaching of it uh, for their own selfish benefits you understand they don't want us to know anything about the past but that shouldn't um you know, belittle us or prevent us, you know, through what is called self-development, we can also try to do that and help ourselves to know about the truth. You understand? Thank you for subscribing to this channel and also listening to our video. Okay, let's quickly go straight to this content. This is today's news. I was in Ijebu over the weekend, so I decided to step out to get something to eat at a local restaurant. I saw some men discussing about how Ojuku was one of those that obstructed the progress of Ijebu people. I asked how, and they took their time to narrate the death of Lieutenant Colonel Victor Panjo, which was ordered by Odumibu Ujuku, and it was said that if he, Victor Banjo, is alive, then he would be one of those that would have brought civilization to Ijebu land. I decided to look well into the matter and I realized there are two sides to the story. I'll be sharing the one I got from Ijabu today and the one the one side probably before the end of this very broadcast. Victor Banjo was a colonial in the Nigerian army. He fought in the Biafran army during the Nigerian Civil War. He was executed by firing squad by the regime of Colonel Emeka Odumigu Ojuku on trumped up charges of planning a coup against the government of Biafra on September 22, 1967. When the Bruhaha began between the Ujuku and Gowon over secession question, Ujuku urged Banjo to join his government. At that time, the Nigerian crisis was mainly between the Igbos and the Hausas. The Igbos had accused the Hausas of carrying out genocide on their people in northern Nigeria. The Hausa claimed the 1966 coup was an Igbo coup targeted at killing their Sadauna and other key Hausa leaders. The country was boiling. Killings were being carried out every day in every part of the country. The Igbos felt vulnerable and were returning in droves to the east. Ojuku was playing with the lead announcing it. Ojuku announced the secession of the nation of Biafra on the 30th of May 1967. Civil war broke forth in Nigeria, the Midwest, 
Now, Delta and Edo State at first took a middle position as far as the crisis was concerned. Oduku was Victor Banjo and an army of soldiers to take over the Midwest. The Midwest fell to be a foreign soldiers in August 1967. It was a major military tactical move that many have credited to the intelligence of Banjo. Not a bullet was not was not actually shot to take over Benin and its environs. But on getting to Benin, things fell apart between Banjo and Ujuku. The plan had been that 24 hours after taking Benin, the Biafran soldiers were to be en route to Lagos and Ibadan to take over those cities. In another account by Victor Banjo's elder sister, she said that Banjo invaded the Midwest at his own initiative, leading a liberation army. The neatness of the invasion and takeover took everyone by surprise, but Banjo may have made the mistake of announcing his presence in Benin by making a broadcast to the Western people, asking them to prepare to receive the liberation army. Hmm. Listeners, this is this is very very pathetic. But I tell you, there is still more truth to this. You understand? There is still more truth to this. But um, banjo. Uh, if I mean, uh, if I if I mean. From what I observe, in the other way, cost is on debt. Cost is on debt. Look at it now. It was said clearly that he plotted a coup. It's just like in this Tunubu's administration. Which of the Tunubu minister, um, chief of staff, will be spot will be spotted? Plotting a coup to unseat Tunubu that you think that they will spare his life. Before I know it, they will, they will move him off. They will execute him. The army chief doesn't care. You don't, it, 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 it seems you don't know Nigeria. They will, they will move him off. That is pure betrayal. You want to betray your, 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 your master? Yes, that is what it means. That's what it means. So um this I I I, I think Banjo Banjo cost his own death. Banjo is the reason why he died so 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 early. Okay, fighting for Biafra struggle. He did not you know kick on with the fight along with Peter with um, uh, Namdekan which doesn't make sense hmm. okay this is how I feel this is how I feel let me hear from you and then um, let me know what's your own opinion Concerning this that has just been revealed to us, you know, concerning the the Biafra War, 1967. It's been wonderful having you. Thank you for giving us your listening here. Please, um, for the records, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated. Each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.